Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the masked booby, large white seabirds that have a wide distribution across the world's oceans. I hope you enjoy. The only boobies to breed in New Zealand, masked boobies are large, typically tropical seabirds, with black trailing edges to the wings, a black tail and a yellow bill, and are in fact the largest booby species. They can get to lengths of 80 centimetres and weights of 1.7 kilograms, also possessing dark facial skin surrounding the eyes, which is how they get their name of masked boobies. There are four recognised subspecies, with the birds in New Zealand, Solid Dactylatra tasmani, also known as the Tasman boobies, are distinguished from other subspecies by their dark brown irises and longer wings, whereas the other subspecies have yellow irises. They are most similar to the Australasian and Cape gannets, which are larger, with shorter tails and yellow heads, and juveniles can be mistaken for brown boobies, although the former are much paler on the hind neck and belly. They feed mostly by plunge diving, either solitarily, in pairs or small groups at sea, frequenting upwelling zones that contain great amounts of fish, squid and octopi. They breed in loose colonies with low densities of nests, with pairs being monogamous and mates are often retained across several seasons. Pairs defend their breeding territories vigorously, often reusing the same nest spots over several years. They showcase many agonistic territorial behaviours, including outposting, leaning forward with their bills held high to mark their nest sites, as well as wing flailing and jabbing against any intruders. Eggs once laid are incubated under the webs of the feet, typically laying two to three eggs, with the first hatched chick expelling their sibling from the nest, typically a day after hatching. But there have been exceptional cases where both chicks have been able to survive. The chick is then brooded for the first three to four weeks, and is then fed through incomplete regurgitation, right through to about four to eight weeks after fledging. They breed only on the Kermadec Islands in New Zealand, and are a rare vagrant on the coast of the North Island, with about 200 pairs estimated to be present. They were, however, nearly hunted to extinction on Lord Howe and Norfolk Islands, and today, long-line fishing still poses a threat to birds at sea. But thankfully, birds are classified as least concern overall, with a total subspecies population of around 2,000 individuals, and hopefully they will continue to survive. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the white-bellied storm petrel, little studied seabirds that nest only on remote islands. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.